Hello and welcome to the series on creating foliage with Ornatrix in 3ds Max. At this stage we've created our palms. If I select them, we've gone through and used a number of uh, propagate modifiers and different gravity and render modifiers in order to create the palms and the, the trunk and the branches as well as the leaves. And now what I like to do is save this out as a preset so I don't have to go through this process of creating this whole modifier stack again. And that way I can create palm trees and oak trees and all sorts of different foliage, shrubs, and things of that nature, and just kind of pick them from a preset list. Now, you should probably be familiar if I go in and just create a sphere here. Uh, most of the time I go in to quick hair to either use the little fur ball setup or maybe the feathers. And that way you can see that, um, you know, it's going to create your groom. And if I select it, it adds all the modifiers with specific ones like surface comb, rotate strands, and you know render settings that's going to look like a feather setup. And that's what we want to do for our setup here. So I'm going to just go in, I'll get rid of this for the moment. And with this selected, right under that we have generate groom. So I'm going to just name this palm trees. It kind of picks you know from what you have up here. You can see where it saves it out. And you can also see there's an option for adding a thumbnail. I'm not going to do that at this moment, but I'll choose Generate. It's going to warn me about that thumbnail. And then I'm going to have my groom created. So if I go back in here, let me just delete these trees. Select that plane. And there's the palm trees, one that I just created. And I can just say Create. And it'll go through and create those palm trees. So of course it takes the material from what we had below it, which was just that purple. We can still assign that material. All those material IDs will be there. And we've created the palm tree like we had wanted before. Now there are a few settings that may not come over. In this case, the number of sides didn't quite propagate out. So uh, I can set that to make everything nice and smooth again. But for the most part, we have the same setup that we did before. And we can go in and make those adjustments if we want to. So if I wanted uh, more or less trees, I could do that. I could order them in a different way, or say that I want uh, to use a subselection, which is already checked on there. But if I was to, let's say, go into this plane and add a edit poly, I can go and uh, just make some selections and strips of places I want these to show up. I could do this based on a map, of course, and you know those are going to kind of show up there. So. I can change the geometry. Um, I don't have to use a plane. I can use anything you know, that I want to. If I want to take all these guys and let's just make ourselves a sphere, you know, a rather large one. I'll zoom out a bit. And we'll just get rid of these trees for the moment. And I can go in here and say, yep, I like some palm trees on this sphere. So there's my palm trees on the sphere. I'll apply that material to them. And again, I can say, all right, well, you know what? I need more of those to fill out that sphere. So we'll crank it up. There's a bunch of them. Okay. And you can set up your generation however it is that you want. Um, you know, potentially you may want to vary the length or the size of these, and you could definitely do that. But that's how you set up the preset for these trees. Now, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at setting up some different ways to animate the trees using uh, just a basic kind of sway parameters as well as using our setup with some dynamics. So I'll see you in that next video. Thank you very much.